Welcome to Skip E. Lowe Looks at Hollywood. Tonight's guests are Robert Walker Jr., his daughter Michelle Walker, and Chris Costello. And now, here's your host, Hollywood's one of a kind, Skip E. Lowe. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Skippy Low Looks at Hollywood. We have a great show in store for you this evening. Do you know who we have? We have Robert Walker Jr., the wonderful motion picture star, and his lovely daughter, Michelle Walker. And also we have Lou Costello's daughter, who sings, writes, and a wonderful actress, lovely Chris Costello. That is our guest this evening. I want you to sit back, relax, because we're going to start our show by introducing my first guest of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to meet a wonderful motion picture guy who's been around here in Hollywood for a lot of the years. He, matter of fact, he grew up here, right? That's right. Robert Walker, Jr., how are oh, you? That's good. Nice seeing you. Thank you. My pleasure. God, you know a lot about Hollywood, don't you? Not don't so you? much. Not so much? No. Ah, come I've on. I've been kind of a recluse most of my life. You know what I've been doing? I've been home turning on my TV, and there you are. Every time uh, I turn that channel, reruns. you're doing commercials. Old reruns. <laughs> no, Commercial. commercials. Yeah, that's, I've been doing some commercials. That's what I've been watching. Oh. Robert Walker doing commercials. Yeah, that's fun. Well, right. you're making a lot of money doing those commercials. Keeps me in Malibu. Yeah. <laughs> it keeps you, is that where you're living? Yeah. In Malibu. I was wondering. I see. And I understand that uh, you. Um, how many commercials do you have right now, Robert? Running right now, I don't think I have any. I had yes, a you do. I had a Buick that was, I think it's gone off the air now. No, I'm no, sure. I, just, really? I just, no, just noticed you. Oh, terrific. I just, <laughs> yes, you better get that money because I just <laughs> noticed bet. you just a few weeks ago I on TV. I thought it must have gone off by now. It's yeah. been running quite a while. Uh -huh. so. That's all you've been doing And I had a Certs. I had a very, a Certs. I did a, uh -huh. that ran for about a year. That was... I see, but you're living on a Malibu now. Yeah, and I've been there since, off and on since 46. That's your first love, the sea. Yeah. Yes. Right. I see. Is it nice out there? The last Quiet. three days have been heavenly. Yes. Just beautiful. Yes, peaceful. Of course, I wouldn't know. I've been in the shop. You have a shop? For, from 10 to 6, most every day. What kind and, of shop uh, do you we have? We just for? opened uh, a gallery of uh, fine contemporary crafts. Uh huh. It's a gallery gift shop kind of thing. In Malibu? In Malibu. We uh -huh. opened about five weeks ago, just in time for Christmas. Where is it located? It's sensational business. Is it? Uh, we're right opposite the Baja Cantina in the Malibu Center. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Uh -huh. Well, listen, you look great. So, thank you. Yes, thank this, you. I'm talking to the famous Jennifer Jones' son uh -huh. and uh, my one of my favorite actors, Robert Walker, who did a great movie years ago, which you should be doing, I think, the remake of The Stranger on in the Train. Strang Strangers on a Train, train. yeah. One well, they did it so well. Why do it again? No, no, no. I think really, you would do a wonderful, the resemblance of mm -hmm. your father. Yeah. God, do you, isn't that a great, uh, do you feel that? Uh, an asset. It has? Yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. You studied acting in New York, did you, Robert? I never studied. You, I thought you were at Until school. recently. I've been acting about 22 years now. And just recently, I started a class with Anita Jesse, who's just absolutely wonderful. Really? And I, I just, thought you just studied... recently got the courage to go to a I thought you a studied class. in New York, in yeah. the Strasbourg, the actor's studio. I audited a few classes. Oh, you did? I was more interested in directing at the time and uh -huh. writing than acting. I see. I didn't know what the heck they were talking about. Really? It wasn't until I started what acting what myself. What year was that, that in, Robert? I was in 62, 61, 62, 62 uh -huh. yeah. I see. So how was Strasbourg? Did you, did you know him at all? Did you? I did, yeah. yeah. He was a wonderful man. He was Absolutely he? wonderful. I you did him. a movie, um, The Easy Rider, with uh, Peter Fonda? Yeah, a little part in that, yeah. Yes. And Pete and, uh, was that your first, Dennis one Hoffa. of your first movies? Yeah. Oh, no. What was that your first? Was, uh, that was in the late 60s, I think, wasn't late it? Late 60s? I don't know. Uh, I wasn't yeah. here in this country. One of my first <laughs> movies was uh, The Hook with... Uh, Kirk Douglas and Nick Adams and Neil oh, Persoff yes. back in 62. 62. Yeah. And that was your first? I was living in New York at the time, and they called me out to audition for that, and I got it. Is that here. where you met your wife in New York, your first wife? I met her in New York. You met her in New York? Yeah, uh -huh. at that a dance is. class. Uh -huh. And her name is Elsie, is it? Ellie. Ellie, Ellie, yeah. Ellie, Ellie. Yeah. Ellie, Ellie. She was Ellie Wood was her name. Ellie yeah. Wood. She yeah. was an actress? Yeah. Yes. Terrific actress. She was also yeah. an easy writer, too, wasn't she? With you? Or was I she? think she may have had a little part in that also. Did she? Yeah. You met her? I only worked in it about two days, I think. Peter How was Peter? Fonda? Said, How was Peter to, fine, yeah. terrific. Every time I think time, of yeah. Robert Walker yeah. Jr., I think of Peter Fonda or the Carradines. That's what I think uh, of. You know, <laughs> it's a big clam, right? Right. I, I saw Peter Archer. just recently. At, uh, Larry Hagman's daughter uh, got married recently. Uh -huh. Heidi, Heidi Hagman. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I saw Peter. I haven't seen him in years. And you I haven't? saw him, and he looked terrific. What is he uh, doing right now? Is he acting at all? I mean, yeah, is he's he living on a ranch up in Montana, uh -huh. and his wife and. Uh, 
I don't know what he's doing. Yeah. Right Are you up for any film right now, Mr. Robert? At, uh, your nothing specifically. Nothing? nothing I'd want to mention yet. Nothing. It's specific. not good luck. <laughs> I think you should do that film. I'm going to repeat it again. Strangers on the Train. Yeah. yeah. I think that's you're perfect for. You look so yeah. fantastic. You look like oh, you're in your you. late twenties. You know. And I think you should do that film. Yeah. I really do. Everyone in the studio, don't you agree? Hey. Don't you agree? Hey. I mean, really. <laughs> I mean, he looks so great. <laughs> well, living in Malibu. Do Malibu. That for is that you. what it is? Yeah. Okay. Well, people in New York, they should come here and live, right? right. But tell me, Robert, um, doing commercials, is it kind of different than doing motion pictures? Isn't it a little different? I mean, it's as, a, as a, a motion picture star yeah. doing... Yeah. Hmm? But um, I enjoy it, and it comes easily to me. Uh -huh. you know, oh, you did? Coming it's, from uh, a famous... It comes naturally, not easily. Coming from a famous mother and uh -huh. a father, uh -huh. is, was it uh, difficult for you to... Um, I mean, do you feel it was difficult for you to get out there as an actor on your own? Which, or do you well, think it helped quite a, a bit. Asset? I'm sure it helped quite a bit in the beginning. It did. To set me on the horse. Okay. You know, if you're in a line of 100 people, right. and uh, I mean, they're going to single you out. Sure. I mean, if you were the son of uh -huh. what's her name and what's his face. What is your I mother mean, doing now, Miss Jennifer Jones? What is she doing? Uh, is she, uh, is what doing is she doing? She's, she's doing a lot of work for mental health uh -huh. and... Uh, uh, the, the National Institute of Mental Health and the uh, uh, Huntington's, Huntington's Disease Foundation. Uh -huh. She looks she lovely. She goes to Washington and try, in lobbies. Yeah. So. She looks lovely. I saw her a few months ago there. when your your daughter was singing in a room in in Hollywood here right. in Beverly Hills. Right. Right. What was that club called? Ryan's Place. Ryan's yes, Place. Yes, yes. Right. Your daughter right. was singing right. there, right. and your mother walked in. Yeah. I remember yeah. for a brief yeah. moment to, yeah. to hear your daughter sing. She walked into my store the other night too. And oh, did she? Portion of her Christmas shopping there. Ah, which I was she looks lovely. She's just very lovely. pleased. Yeah. yeah, she's lovely. Yeah. So Robert Walker Jr., your business and um, Jane Fonda. Do you uh, do you know Jane Fonda? Do you? Jane. I used to see her often in the old days. Do. You? Uh, not uh -huh. recently. I ran into her recently in a restaurant, but I, we don't. I don't really socialize that much, you know. You don't socialize? I don't get out that much, just really. I'm beginning to now that I have a store and I'm uh -huh. into retail. Uh -huh. It's a retail I, store? Yeah. I see. And what do you retail, uh, actually? Uh, mostly handcrafted gifts, uh -huh. you know, pottery and clothes and uh, I said, you have a brother. You have a brother uh, called Michael, Michael Walker? What Michael. is Michael doing? He's an actor also? He's living happily in the valley. Is he? He's a valley boy. Is he a valley boy? <laughs> <laughs> The he comes out people, occasionally. The Valley people talk us different. In Malibu. <laughs> <laughs> Does it really? Yeah. yeah. Is it uh, yeah. your? Um, I understand that you did. You did like. I was going to ask you about karate, but you said before the show that you never uh, studied never, karate. Oh, I mean, I think I studied about for two weeks until my teacher, karate teacher, broke my nose, uh -huh. and then I got into softer discipline, Tai Chi. I went into Tai Chi Chuan. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, uh, which is, it's a form of... Robert, what would you like food. to do, actually, uh, if you had your own scripts to pick right now? What, actually, what would you like to do? Oh, I'd like to do a, really? a romantic adventure story of some kind. You know? But I'm not big enough. I'm not beefy you know, enough for no, that kind of thing. No, you can do it. No. I could be somebody's sidekick, maybe. You know, you know that's... But I'd like to do a, 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 romantic, a romantic lead, you know. That's wonderful. You know, Everybody's, an adventure story, something. That's beautiful. Something that would be fun and... It's not love. Reasonably sex. clean. Yes. Well, that's beautiful. I think it's great. Yeah, yeah I think that's fabulous. No, not too one, much. Violence, you know, a no. wonderful motion picture your father did was called One Touch of Venus. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah. Oh, it's a great movie yeah. with Ava Gardner. Yeah. It's a yeah. lovely movie. Yeah. Do you remember your dad at all? Very well. I did was uh, 11 when he died. You were? So he 11? was my buddy. He was my best friend. You I were 11? Him. Yeah. yeah. Oh. What kind of guy was he? Mm -hmm. Can you remember, actually? He was my best friend. Your best friend? Uh, yeah. I see. I didn't know what else to say. Yeah, yeah he was yeah. a great actor. Yeah. He was a wonderful yeah. guy. Tell me something. Do you feel that Hollywood makes stars and then they tear them down? I want to know. Do you actually feel that they bring them up and all of a sudden they just tear them down? Uh, who's they? No. Who's they? No. I don't know. Uh, no. Hollywood. Hollywood. It's no. as, as it's Hollywood. What is Hollywood, you know? Mm. What do you think, Robert? What is Hollywood? No. What is Hollywood all about? Gee, I, uh, I'm the wrong person to ask that question. Really? Because I don't really, I haven't really lived in Hollywood in, 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 in I haven't in been in relationship circle. with people, yes, yes. Hollywood people. Much, I, you know. I understand, I understand. I kind of live by myself most of the time. Yeah, you're very much like the Fondas, uh, like the Carradines. They're very you know, quiet. I've traveled a lot. And, uh, yeah, you're very... I avoided Hollywood and the Hollywood scene most of my life. Yeah, you know, I'm asking uh, the wrong person. I really am uh, for that. 
it's the business has been very good to me. I've had, you know, I've been very fortunate to mm -hmm. be able to work, and yes. continue working. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, I'm very happy to have you here okay. this evening. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. And you know, we have a lovely young lady. I don't know if you remember when you were a kid, there was a wonderful comedy team called Bud Abbott and Lou Costello. Oh, yeah. Uh, remember? They very well. Just very wonderful. Well. I met Lou. Years Did you? Ago. Yeah. Well, I have, I have his daughter here this evening. She wrote a book, uh -huh. and it's a wonderful book called Lou's on First. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm going to introduce her now. Would you Good. like to meet her? Yes, I her would. Her name is Chris Costello. Hey. Thank you. Good evening, Chris. How are you? Chris Casella, this is Robert Walker. Hi. Hello. Junior, how are you? God, I haven't seen you since the E Little Club. E Little Club. In Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. With Joan right. Rivers, right? Years ago. Years ago, yes. yes. You were, she used to open uh, for Joan at when the... I was a blonde. Huh. Yes, you were a blonde, right. I, I didn't, didn't recognize her. I didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> she had blonde hair, that's right. It was longer. Yeah. She wrote a great book, Robert. It's called Lose on First. Uh -huh. And uh, it's, uh, it's out now, isn't it? Oh, yes. Yes, how's it doing? Fantastic. Is it's, it really? It's really, you know, holding its own now. Uh -huh. um, the paperback came out in January of last year, and then the hardcover was out a couple of years ago. Oh, great. And it keeps selling. And how old were you when you, uh, when, when I wrote the book? No, no, your father, uh, you, re you remember your father, too. Oh, of when course he was, I uh, you were, uh, you were, um, 11? 11. Same away. as, uh, yeah. Robert. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. And you grew up here in Hollywood, didn't you, Chris? Valley. Valley girl? Valley girl. Really? Yes, golly gee whiz. And... Uh -huh. Is it true about your father? They always saying that he's gambling. God, he was a gambler. Was he really playing the horses all the time? Oh, yeah, but I think a lot of people back in Hollywood during those days did it. It was a release. You know, I... I um, it was glamour, too. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. In those I days, so. I think it was... They didn't do it for drinking and boozing it up. Oh, no. They no, just... No. They did it just for... Just for the glamour. Just, just, oh, yeah, <laughs> just for the glamour, right. <laughs> no, but he, he did like to gamble, you know. He, Chris, what are you doing with yourself now? Since um, I haven't seen you, just kind of I've yourself. got. I still. I still work with the big bands. Uh huh. And um, I still, the acting, not really that much anymore. And I've always enjoyed public relations, so I started my own company about three years ago. Really? What is it called? And what do you have? What? Chris Costello and Company. Oh, great. Yeah. Good. Is it in the valley? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You have a sister, don't you? Two. Two. Two, two sisters. Two you sisters. have. And how many do you have, Robert? I have a brother and. Uh, Two stepbrothers. Two, two stepbrothers. I see. And four children. And four children. And one more on the way. Good God. Oh Any God. other hobbies, Robert? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> anyway, Chris, I, you, um, you're not married now, are you? No. You didn't. No. Since I've seen you, you haven't got married. No. no. Uh -uh. So how about this book? Would you tell me about it? You're going to do, um, going to make it a film or what? what no, actually what we're thinking about doing with a book is, is uh, doing a play based on it, a straight play, uh, with Ron Masak. Uh, as dad uh -huh. and her Edelman as Bud. Uh, this play was written by Ed Gordon, who wrote The Chosen. Uh -huh. and we're very proud of it. Um, I think it's, the timing is right. Uh -huh. If you notice Broadway right now with Marilyn, and uh, right. you're now developing one with the Three Stooges. Right. Uh, uh -huh. To me, it's just now is the time to go for it. But then again, you have to get the backing money. <laughs> True. They're doing the Jeremy so, thing, too, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. think Jimmy so sees yourself mm -hmm. for that. Do you know who I think would be great for this? No. Shecky Green. Green. How did you know? I was going to say, he <laughs> would be wonderful. Well, I, I adore Shecky, and I, I agree with you. Oh, I think he great. would be wonderful, Shecky's except great. if you meet Ron Masak. Uh -huh. Ron is just a double, oh, really? an absolute double. He's a clone. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The only difference well, is you Ron's would know. Taller. You're the daughter. You would know. Is well, that Who else would know than the daughter? I yeah. don't know. You do any traveling at all right now with I the book? I've been doing a lot of traveling with the book, plus uh -huh. just with my company. I just came back from Atlantic City, mm -hmm. <laughs> first time in Atlantic City, and I got to start the, to see them rebuild the steel pier. Right. Uh, I just decided that there's a lot in this. I've done so much traveling in Europe and, and in the Orient that uh -huh. I really wanted to start seeing more of this country. That's right. You were singing in the Orient, right? Oh, you didn't you do a lot of singing in Japan? Duty. Yeah, right. Anne Gavis. Anne Gavis, <laughs> right, right. That's yes, right. could we singer. write a book? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Well, you speak Japanese, huh? Skoshi. Kombawa. Skoshi. Right, right. You, do, have you been to uh, the Orient, Robert? Uh, I did a movie in Thailand a couple of years yeah, ago. Yeah, I love Thailand. a Thailand film company. Yeah. Were you in Bangkok? Which was exciting. I was out in the jungles most oh, really? of the time. Really? Yeah, near the bridge over the river Kwai, uh -huh, uh -huh. up to my uh -huh. neck in the water all night long. I lived in Bangkok for a while. It's great. Yeah. I love it there. I hear this. They're going underwater now. Yeah. It's sinking. A few yeah. inches really? every year. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like Venice. Uh -huh. It's becoming like Venice. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
But you were in Thailand too. You worked. No, you worked for the military. Did you do military shows? Well, Yokohama and various bases uh -huh. in and around Tokyo. But no, I didn't go out. She's a marvelous Japan. entertainer, uh, right? <laughs> like wonderful singer. <laughs> but you know something? We have his daughter here tonight to sing for us. <gasps> Did you know that? Isn't that a great Bird. honor? Yes, she's wonderful, and, and her name is Michelle Walker, and I like to bring her right now. Would you uh, give me a big welcome, help her out? Okay. Yay! Michelle Walker. song you did. Thank that you. was fabulous, Thank Sterling. You. Who wrote that song? Rupert Holmes. Really? Yeah. That's a very unusual song. Yeah. It's a talking number, right? I, I, that's why I like it, because I can, I feel I have more freedom when I, um, did you, when I'm um, able to talk. Did you know that uh, Chris uh, wrote a book about uh, her father, Lou's on first, and um, have you read this book? No, I haven't. You haven't? Well, no. I'm going to point it to the camera first. Which camera do I give it into? I'll give it to you. How's that? And, uh, this is all about, um, what is it, what, actually, what is it about mostly? It's but about Luke Costello. Yeah, but what? Biography. Uh, biography of the Career comedy. and his life. Uh-huh. And it's, uh, it's in, they were famous in the 40s and the 50s, well, right? The, I would say their popularity was at their height. 40s, 40s, 40s yeah. uh-huh. And they had their own radio show, too, didn't mm -hmm. they? Their television show in the... Television, uh, they had radio show. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I see. You brought a clip today for us, I didn't did. you? Yes? Yes. She brought a clip for us. Well, could we see it? Want to <laughs> well, set, sure. set up the it's, clip? It's for us. Uh, what the book was named after, which was the famous skit. It's um, uh -huh. Who's on First? I see. And that's the, the clip? One of their television shows. Yeah. Can we see the mm -hmm. clip then? Uh, out there? If you're gonna, is that the, you're going to set up the clip or what? 
On our team, we have who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. That's what I want to find uh -huh. out, the guy's name. Uh -huh. That's what I want to find out, the guy's name. I'm telling you, who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. Uh, but you now, want to be the manager of the baseball team? Yes. You know the guy's name? Well, I should. Well, now you tell me the guy's name's on the baseball I team. I say, who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. You ain't saying nothing to me yet. Go ahead and tell me. <laughs> I'm telling him. You ain't said nothing yet. Go ahead and tell me. Who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. You know the guy's I'll... name's on the baseball team? Yes. Well, go ahead. Who's on first? Yes. I mean, the guy's name. Who? The guy playing first. Who? The guy playing first base. Who? The guy on first base. <laughs> Who is on first? What are you asking me for? I don't know. Wait a minute. I'm asking you who's on first. That's his name. Well, go ahead and tell me. Who? The guy on first. That's it. <laughs> That's his name. Well, you ain't said nothing. I ain't asked you nothing. You did. You know the guy's name on first base? Sure. Well, tell me the guy's name on first base. Who? <laughs> the guy playing first base. Who is on first, Lou? What are you asking me for? Now, come on, don't get excited. I'm saying who. I'm asking you a simple question. Who's on first? Yes. Well, go ahead and tell me. That's it. That's who? <laughs> yes. I'm asking you, what's the guy's name on first no, base? Oh, no, what's on second? I'm not asking you who's on second. Who's on first? One base at a time. <laughs> Don't mix up my... I'm not mixing up anybody. Now, what's the guy's name on first base? Now, what is on second? I'm not asking you who's on second. Who is on first? I don't know. He's on first. We're not first. <laughs>
I can make it, I'll make it. But I really am not interested in You're not interested. Anymore. I'm really God, not. God, you people, I said, you're just not interested. You're I'm in business just, and I he's as commercial. I enjoy eating. <laughs> huh? But I went I in the other day for, a, they called me in to be a, a singing manager of a Kentucky fried chicken. <laughs> oh. That's a commercial, right. Yeah. right. And I went in. Did you, I let my wife take over the store and I shaved and put uh -huh. a coat and tie and went in and tried to do it and gave it my all. I even sang, you know, uh -huh. which I don't do. You don't sing? Oh. I'll tell you something, the last commercial interview I went on was first ice skating. Uh -huh. And like a fool, I told him I could ice skate. And I was uh -huh. the only one who spent my entire time on my you-know-what, yeah. just trying to yeah. stand on my uh -huh. feet. <laughs> so but you're right. Nature. You never say you can't. You always say you can do it. Oh, I oh. see. Can you ride if, horse? Matthew <laughs> Robert, what do you think of Hollywood today as when you were growing up? And also, Chris, what do you think of Hollywood today when you were a child actor out here, when you grew up here in Hollywood? Is it a big change in Hollywood, right? Is there a big change here? Well, I... The SAR system. I, I mean. First of all, I grew up in the San Fernando Valley, really sheltered away from Hollywood. I can't see. It's the same you thing. You know, my parents really did not want us to be raised in a Hollywood atmosphere. Um, so I, I don't even feel that I can make the comparison because I grew up what I consider to be a very normal day-to-day -day existence. I see. Well... I want to thank you for coming. Thank you, Skip. Thank you very yes, much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you nice very, very much. Nice evening. <laughs> thank oh, you. Michelle, love you. I think you're delightful. Mm, I think you're going to make you. it very big. Oh, I think you're very talented here. <gasps> okay, and I want to thank my guests very, very much, Robert Walker, Jr., and lovely Chris Costello, and the very, very talented Michelle Walker. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Skippy Lowe. We have been looking at Hollywood. Thank you. You have a shop for from store. 10 to 6 most every day. What kind and, uh, of shop do you we have? We just for? opened uh, a gallery of uh, fine contemporary crafts. Uh -huh. It was a gallery gift shop kind of thing. In Malibu? In Malibu. We uh -huh. opened about five weeks ago, just in time for Christmas. Where is it located? It's sensational business. Is it? Uh, we're right opposite the Baja Cantina in the Malibu Center. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Uh -huh. Well, it's, you look great. So, thank you. Yes, thank this, you. I'm talking to the famous Jennifer Jones' son uh -huh. and uh, my one of my favorite actors, Robert Walker, who did a great movie years ago, which you should be doing, I think, the remake of The Stranger on in the Train. Strang Strangers on a Train, train. yeah. One well, they did it so well. Why do it again? No, no, no. I think really, you would do a wonderful. The resemblance of mm -hmm. your father. Yeah. God, do you, isn't that a great? Uh, do you feel that? It's uh, an asset. It has yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. You studied acting in New York, did you, Robert? I never studied. Really. You, I thought you were at until recently. I've been acting about 22 years now, and just recently I started a class with Anita Jesse. It was just absolutely wonderful. Really? You know, I, I just, thought you just studied, recently got the courage to go to. I thought you a studied class in New York in yeah. the Strasbourg. The actor's studio. I audited a few classes. Well, you did. I was more interested in directing at the time and uh, writing than acting. I see. I didn't know what the heck they were talking about. Really? It wasn't until I started was, acting which myself. Which year was that, that in, Robert? That was in 62, 61, 62, 62 uh -huh. yeah. I see. So, so yeah. how was Strasburg? Did you, did you know him at all? Did you? I did, yeah. yeah. He was a wonderful man. He was Absolutely he? wonderful. I you did a movie, um, The Easy Rider, with uh, Peter Fonda. Yeah, a little part in that, yeah. Yes. With Pete and, uh, was that your first, Dennis one Hoffman. of your first movies? Or? Oh, no. What was that your first? Was, uh, that was in the late 60s, I think, wasn't late it? Late 60s? I don't know. Yeah. I wasn't here yeah. in this country. One of my first <laughs> movies was uh, The Hook with uh, Kirk Douglas and Nick Adams and Neil oh, Iapersoff. Yes. I remember. Back in 62. 62. Yeah. 
That was your first? I was living in New York at the time, and they called me out to audition for that, and I got it. Is that where you met your wife in New York, your first wife? I met her in New York. You met her in New York? Yeah, uh -huh. that in a dance is, class. Uh -huh. And her name is Elsie, is it? Ellie. Ellie, Ellie, yeah. Ellie, Ellie. Yeah. Ellie, Ellie. She was Ellie Wood was her name. Ellie yeah. Wood. She yeah. was an actress? Yeah. Yes. Terrific actress. She was singer. also an easy writer, too, wasn't she? With you? Or was I she? think she may have had a little part in that also. Did she? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You met her in I only worked in it about two days, I think. Peter was Peter Fonda? How was Peter? Fine. Yeah. Terrific. Every time I think time, of yeah. Robert Walker yeah. Jr., I think of Peter Fonda. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Skip E. Lowe Looks at Hollywood. Tonight's guests are Robert Walker Jr., his daughter Michelle Walker, and Chris Costello. And now, here's your host, Hollywood's one-of-a-kind, Skip E. Lowe. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Skippy Lowe Looks at Hollywood. We have a great show in store for you this evening. Do you know what we have? We have Robert Walker Jr., the wonderful motion picture star, and his lovely daughter, Michelle Walker. And also, we have Lou Costello's daughter, who sings, writes, and a wonderful actress, lovely Chris Costello. That is our guest this evening. I want you to sit back, relax, because we're going to start our show by introducing my first guest of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to meet a wonderful motion picture guy who's been around here in Hollywood for a lot of the years. He, matter of fact, he grew up here, right? That's right. Robert Walker, Jr., how are Hello, you? Oh, that's good. Nice seeing you. Thank you. My pleasure. God, you know a lot about Hollywood, don't you? Not don't so you? much. Not so much? No. Ah, come I've on. I've been kind of a recluse most of my life. You know what I've been doing? I've been home turning on my TV, and there you are. Every time uh, I turn that channel, reruns. you're doing commercials. Old reruns. <laughs> no, Commercial. commercials. Yeah, that's, I've been doing some commercials. That's what I've been watching. Yeah. Robert Walker doing commercials. Yeah, that's fun. Well, right. you're making a lot of money doing those commercials. Keeps me in Malibu. Yeah. It keeps you, is that where you're living? Yeah. In Malibu. I was wondering. I see. And I understand that uh, you. Um, how many commercials do you have right now, Robert? Running right now, I don't think I have any. I had yes, a you do. I had a Buick that was, I think it's gone off the air now. No, I'm no, sure. I, just, really? I just, no, just noticed you. Oh, terrific. I just, <laughs> yes, you better get that money because I just <laughs> you noticed you just a few weeks ago I on TV. I thought it must have gone off by now. It's yeah. been running quite a while. Uh -huh. so. That's all you've been doing And I had a Certs. I had a very, a Certs I did. A, uh -huh. That ran for about a year. That was... I see, but you're living on a Malibu now. Yeah, and I've been there since, off and on since 46. That's your first love, the sea. Yeah. Yes. Right. I see. Is it nice out there? The last Quiet. three days have been heavenly. Yes. Just beautiful. Yes, peaceful. Of course, I wouldn't know. I've been in the shop. Or the carotines. That's what I think uh, of. You know, <laughs> it's a big clam, there, right? Right. I like saw Peter just recently. At, uh, Larry Hagman's daughter uh, got married recently. Uh -huh. Heidi. Heidi Hagman. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I saw Peter. I haven't seen him in years. And you I haven't? saw him, and he looked terrific. What is he uh, doing right now? Is he acting at all? I mean, yeah, is he He's doing living on a ranch up in Montana, uh -huh. and his wife. And... Uh, I don't know what he's doing. Yeah. Right Are you up for any film right now, Dr. Robert? At, uh, your Nothing specifically. Nothing? Nothing I'd want to mention yet. Nothing. It's specific. not good luck. <laughs> I think you should do that film. I'm going to repeat it again. Strangers on the Train. Yeah. yeah. I think that's you're perfect for. You look so yeah. fantastic. You look like oh, you're in your you. late twenties. You know. And I think you should do that film. Yeah. I really do. Everyone in the studio, don't you agree? Hey. Don't you agree? Hey. I mean, really. <laughs> I mean, he, he looks so great. <laughs> well, living in Malibu. Do Malibu, that for is that you. what it is? Yeah. Okay. Well, people in New York, they should come here and live, right? right. But tell me, Robert, um, doing commercials, is it kind of different than doing motion pictures? Isn't it a little different? I mean, it's as, a, quite as a, a motion different. picture star, yeah. doing. Yeah. Hmm? But um, I enjoy it, and it comes easily to me. Uh -huh. you know, oh, you did? Coming it's, from uh, a famous mother. comes mo naturally, not easily. Coming from a famous mother and uh -huh. a father. Uh huh. Is, was it uh, difficult for you to, um, I mean, do you feel it was difficult for you to get out there as an actor on your own? Would, or do you well, think it helped it quite a, a bit. Asset? I'm sure it helped quite a bit in the beginning. It did. To set me on the horse. Okay. You know, if you're in a line of 100 people, right. and uh, I mean, they're going to single you out. True. I mean, if you were the son of... Uh -huh. What's her name and what's his face? What is your I mother mean, doing now, Miss Jennifer Jones? What is she doing? Uh, is she, uh, is what doing is she doing? She's she's doing a lot of work for mental health uh -huh. and uh, uh, the National Institute of Mental Health and the uh, uh, Huntington's, Huntington's Disease Foundation. Uh -huh. She looks she lovely. She goes to Washington and try in lobbies. Yeah. So. She looks lovely. I saw her a few months ago there. when your your daughter was singing in a room in in Hollywood here right. in Beverly Hills. Right. Uh -huh. What was that club called? Ryan's Place. 
Ryan's yes, place. Yes, yes, right, your daughter right, was singing right, there, right, right, and right. your mother walked in, yeah, I remember, yeah, for a brief yeah, moment to, yeah, yeah. to hear your daughter sing. She walked into my store the other night, too. Oh, did she? A portion of her Christmas shopping there. Ah, which I was she looks lovely. She's just very lovely. pleased. Yeah. yeah, she's lovely. Yeah. So, Robert Walker, Jr., your business, and um, Jane Fonda, do you, uh, do you know Jane Fonda, do you? Jane? I used to see her often in the old days. Do you? Uh, not mm -hmm. recently. I ran into her recently in a restaurant, but I, we don't. I don't really socialize that much, you know. You don't socialize? I don't get out that much, just really. I'm beginning to now that I have a store, and I'm uh -huh. into retail. Uh -huh. It's a retail I, store? Yeah. I see. And what do you retail, uh, actually? Uh, mostly handcrafted gifts, uh -huh. you know, pottery and clothes and uh, I said, you have a brother. You have a brother uh, called Michael, Michael Walker? What Michael is Michael doing? He's an actor also? He's living happily in the valley. Is he? He's a valley boy. Is he a valley boy? <laughs> <laughs> And he valley comes out people, occasionally. The Valley people talk us different. In Malibu. <laughs> <laughs> Does it really? Yeah. yeah. Is it yeah. Uh, your? Um, I understand that you did. You did like. I was going to ask you about karate, but you said before the show that you never uh, studied never, karate. Well, I mean, I think I studied about for two weeks until my teacher, karate teacher, broke my nose, uh -huh. and then I got into a softer discipline, Tai Chi. I went into Tai Chi Chuan. Uh -huh. and, uh, which is, it's a form of... Robert, what would you like food. to do, actually, uh, if you had your own scripts to pick right now? What, actually, what would you like to do? Oh, I'd like to do a, really? a romantic adventure story of some kind, you know. But I'm not big enough. I'm not beefy you know, enough for no, that kind of thing. No, you can do it. No. I could be somebody's sidekick, maybe, you know. You know, that's... But I'd like to do a... a, a romantic... A, a romantic lead, you know. That's wonderful. An adventure story, something. That's beautiful. Something that'll be fun and... It's not love. Reasonably sex. clean. Yes. Well, that's beautiful. I think it's great. Yeah, yeah I think that's fabulous. No, not too one, much. You know, a wonderful motion picture your father did was called One Touch of Venus. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah. Oh, great movie yeah. with Ava Gardner. Yeah. It's a yeah. lovely movie. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember your dad at all? Very well. I did was uh, 11 when he died. You were? So he were? was my buddy. He was my best friend. You I were 11? Yeah. yeah. Oh. What kind of guy was he? Mm -hmm. Can you remember, actually? He was my best friend. Your best friend? Uh, yeah. I see. I didn't know what else to say. Yeah, yeah he was yeah. a great actor. Yeah. He was a wonderful yeah. guy. Tell me something. Do you feel that Hollywood makes stars and then they tear them down? I want to know. Do you actually feel that they bring them up and all of a sudden they just tear them down? Uh, who's they? No. Who's they? No. I don't know. Uh, no. Hollywood. Hollywood. It's no. as, as it's Hollywood. What is Hollywood, you know? Mm. What do you think, Robert? What is Hollywood? No. What is Hollywood all about? Gee, I, uh, I'm the wrong person to ask that question. Really? Because I don't really, I haven't really lived in Hollywood in, 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 in I haven't in been in relationship circle. with people, yes, yes. Hollywood people. Much, I, you know. I understand, I understand. I kind of live by myself most of the time. Yeah, you're I'm very much like the Fondas, uh, like the Carradines. They're very you know. quiet. I've traveled a lot. And, uh, yeah, you're very... I avoided Hollywood and the Hollywood scene most of my life. Yeah, you know, I'm asking uh, the wrong person. I really am uh, for that. It's the business has been very good to me. I've had, you know, I've been very fortunate to mm -hmm. be able to work and yes. continue working. Uh -huh. and, uh, well, I'm very happy to have you here yes, this evening. Uh, thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. And you know, we have a lovely young lady. I don't know if you remember when you were a kid, there was a wonderful comedy team called Bud Abbott and Lou Costello. Oh yeah. Uh, remember? They very well. Were just very wonderful. Well. I met Lou. Years Did you? Ago. Yeah. Well, I have. I had his daughter here this evening. She wrote a book, uh -huh. and it's a wonderful book called Lou's on First. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm going to introduce her now. Would you like Good. to meet her? Yes, I her would. Her name is Chris Costello. Hey. Thank you. Good evening, Chris. How are you? Chris Costello, this is Robert Walker. Hi. Hello. Junior, how are you? God, I haven't seen you since the E Little Club. E Little Club. In Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. With Joan right. Rivers, right? Years ago. Years ago, yes. yes. You were, she used to open uh, for Joan at when the... I was a blonde. Huh. Yes, you were a blonde, right. I, I didn't, didn't recognize her. I didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> she had blonde hair, that's right. It was longer. Yeah. She wrote a great book, Robert. It's called Lose on First. Uh -huh. And uh, it's, uh, it's out now, isn't it? Oh, yes. Yes, how's it doing? It's fantastic. Is it's, it really? It's really, you know, holding its own now. Uh -huh. um, the paperback came out in January of last year, and then the hardcover was out a couple of years ago. Oh, great. And it keeps selling. And how old were you when you, uh, when, when I wrote the book? No, no, your father, uh, you, re you remember your father, too. Oh, of when course he was, I uh, You were, uh, you were, um, 11? 11. Same away. as, uh, yeah. Robert. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. And you grew up here in Hollywood, didn't you, Chris? Valley. Valley girl? Valley girl. Really? Yes, golly gee whiz. And... Uh -huh. Is it true about your father? They always saying that he's gambling. God, he was a gambler. Was he really playing the horses?